Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, uh, we'll see the mouse properties and the keyboard properties of a computer. Right? We can change some sort of properties of a mouse and keyboard. So for that, just move with the, uh, open the control panel. So go to the run command. So type the control panel so that the control panel will be opened. And here you can find the two options that is a keyboard and mouse. So first let us see the mouse properties. So click on the mouse. Uh, icon so you will get this one so here it is a properties these are all the properties the first thing you can see switch primary and secondary buttons so in our mouse we will be having the left button and the right button so if you click on the left button that it will be used to select the folders or a files so single click is to select the files or a folder and if you click on the right button we will get the properties so if you check, I mean, uh, if you select this checkbox, that means switch primary and secondary buttons. So then the left button is used to get the properties and the right button is used to select the folders. So the operations will be changed, right? So that is for the, this one, select the primary and secondary buttons. And the next one is a double click split. So if you want to open the folder or a file, we'll just double click. So the rate of double click right so it, it, it may be a slow or a fast if it is fast simply immediately we'll get it and if you go with the slow so even though we are giving some delay on double click automatically it will open the folder or a file right so double click speed is a option one option and the second one is a pointers you can see the pointers so these are the different pointers that will be displayed on our screen. This is a normal select. You can see the now the pointer, right? And this is a help. This is a help. And working in background, if it is in under progress, you will get some circle above the arrow mark. If it is busy, it will be the circle, right? Similarly, in order to resize, we will be having some sort of uh, representation representing the arrow. If you want to move, the arrow will be like this. Okay, so like that for each and every operation will be having the different visualization, right? So you can change these visualizations. So best example, see the cursor now, it's a normal arrow. So if you go with this one, so select the magnified, select the magnified and click on apply. You can see, see the arrow mark is somewhat magnified and all the other options are also has been changed, right? And if you go with the black, Windows black large, so you can see, click on apply. See, the cursor is, the cursor is the bold arrow mark, okay, large arrow mark. And go with the inverted large, so you can observe here, so it will be different. It's a transparent, you can observe here, some sort of transparent option. If you cl click on this one. So it is running in the background itself. All the text is given in the foreground, right? So like this, there are different options. There are different options to visualize the pointer, mouse pointer. So all these, these are the different options, right? So by default, it is like this, right? Uh, by default, this is the thing, right? So if you want to enable the pointer shadow, we can enable the pointer shadow. So that some sort of shadow is appearing, you can observe here. For pointer, you can observe some sort of shadow is appearing. If you disable the shadow, see, there is no shadow on the pointer. So like that, we can have different visualizations and the pointer options, select the pointer speed. So just moving the pointer, that means moving the mouse, the pointer will be moving towards the screen, right? So if you give the fast, so it will move in a fast way, okay? And if it is slow, you can observe the mouse pointer will be even though you are uh, moving fast the pointer will be moving very slow right so this is one thing and display the pointer trails so if you select this one if you move the pointer on the screen the shadow will be appeared see you can observe okay the pointer shadows right if you move the cursor on the screen the pointer shadows will be appeared right it is a long or short you can observe here so some only short and if it is a medium you will be having only few shadows if it is long more shadows will be appeared 
right and hide pointer while typing so once you are typing the uh, some sort of material the pointer will be hidden right so this option is like this and this option is to find the pointer where exactly the pointer see if you click on this one if you apply here so if if you are unable to find the pointer just click on the control so that it will give the position of the pointer so if my pointer is here so i am unable to find the pointer right i am unable to find the pointer so now simply click on the control button on your keyboard so that it will give a prompt where the pointer exists right here you can see the position of the pointer right so this is the pointer options and a wheel options so if you are scrolling so how many lines it should scroll so i have given it as a three so if you scroll at a time the three lines will be scrolled right we can customize it right so you can uh, increase or you can decrease so i will remove this one display the point right and the this one right so the wheel okay so these are the mouse properties we can change different options of a mouse and now we will see the keyboard properties a very few options will be there only i think only two options will be there for the keyboard so we will see the keyboard property so repeat rate and the blink rate the two options so coming to the repeat rate if you want to uh, type the same key repeatedly so just press that key and hold it so it will be displayed so you can observe i will click on key i will, I will press the key button and i will hold it right see this is the click rate okay repeat rate now you can observe if it is slow if it is slow if i do the same thing if i press the uh, button k and hold so you can observe it will be repeated in a slow manner it will be repeated in a slow manner okay so also delete in a slow manner you can observe the difference and if it is fast if you if it is a fast if you apply the same thing press the key see it's very fast it will be displayed very fast it will be displayed so that's the repeat rate repeat rate okay and the cursor blink rate the cursor blink rate here you can observe the cursor blinking so open the notepad so that you will be uh, having an idea see you can observe the cursor i will increase the font so that the cursor will be big see here it is a cursor it will be keep on blinking right unless you type the thing it will be keep on blinking so i will give the name sandeep so it is blinking here so you can see if it is fast so it will be keep on blinking so just apply and click here see the blinking rate the cursor blink rate is fast okay and if it is slow you can observe there will be a lot of delay between one blink and another blink see it was fixed after a long gap it will start blinking okay it's none so i will go with the some sort of fast and uh, apply you can observe so there will be some delay in blinking and if you give the fast and apply so the blink rate will be very fast so these are the only two options okay these are the only two options we can change in the keyboard properties right so hope you understood these uh, properties the keyboard properties and the mouse properties we can change uh, with our own idea right so with our own style we can change the mouse properties and the keyboard properties so hope you enjoyed the session if you like my session uh, like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much